how to create infinite logo carousel in Wix Studio. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can create infinite logo carousel in Wix Studio. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Wix, you could also use my affiliate link below the description or earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Wix, it is a leading website builder that empowers users to create and manage their own websites with ease, offering a wide range of features suitable for both personal and business needs, in which Wix utilizes a user-friendly drag-and-drop editor, allowing individuals without technical skills to design visually appealing websites from over 500 customizable templates. And now to create an account, just click the link in the description or the Get Started button on the top right corner, and from here, you can sign up using your email address or using your Google or Facebook account in here. After signing in, you'll now be able to be directed to this page. And now that we are here in Wix Studio, just click the Create New Site on the top right corner to create a new one. Then you will be directed in here, in which it will show you that you can create from template or per blank canvas. And by using the template, from here it will show you a variety of template that we can choose from. And since I already have, so with the website I'm going to use this one right here. So I'm going to click this select site button, then you will be directed on this page. And from here, as you can see, it is now currently under the editor settings on Wix website. And to start customizing or adding a carousel, just go to the header section. And we can simply drag it, this line, to adjust the size of it. And at this part, will be added the photo. So to do that, just go on the left side panel and click add elements. And upon clicking on it, just click or select image. In which from here you can upload your own image from your computer files or even select a free image that is offered on Wix. By clicking the show more button, you'll be able to be directed on this page in which it will show you a variety of images that is offered for free from Wix. So let's say in those options of picture I'm going to select this one so can you click on it and after that just click at the page button below here. And upon doing so, it will show you automatically that has been added in here the photo. So we can simply drag it on this header section and even change the size of it by dragging on the corner of this image. So after selecting and changing the location, the size, and putting it to this header section, we can simply add here more images. But at this point, you could also duplicate this kind of image to start designing it. And to do that, kind of click or right click on it. And in this option, kind of proceed by clicking this duplicate option. And after duplicating it, just also again do the same process of adding the image on the header section. And as you can see, we've now successfully added a two same images in here. But if you also want to duplicate again this one, just click on it again and click the duplicate option to proceed. And again, just do the same process of adding or simply putting it on this header section. And as you can see, we have now three aligned similar images in here. However, if you also want to choose to change some of these images, for not to become similar, you can do so by simply clicking to any images in here and click change image button. But before that, the first thing that we need to do is to simply select all of these three images and kindly group on it by clicking group elements in here. And after grouping these images into one group, the next thing that we need to do is to simply change some of these images in here. And to do that again, kind of click on these images that you want to change, then proceed by clicking change image. Then you will be directed again on this page, wherein it will show you that you can simply change or choose an image in here available for free. Let's say this one, by clicking on it, kind of click choose image button to proceed. And after that, you will not be able to see here that the image has now been replaced. So we can also do the same process on the next images and choose the replacement in here. So as you can see, all of these images are free, so kind of click on it. For instance, this one again, and click choose image to proceed. And now that we replace, those images, the next thing that we need to do is to simply select or choose an animation in here. So just right click on it and click this animation option. And after that, it will show in here some of the animation that you can choose from. But just click this loop option and click the cross option in here. And it will show you what it looks like. But in order to make it infinite, you simply duplicate this part by clicking this duplicate button right here. And simply add it on the right side in here on the header section to make it look like a never-ending kind of carousel. And to see the result, kind of click the PV button on the top right corner to see it. Then you will be able to see here what it looks like. So as you can see, it seems like it is an infinite or never-ending 
kind of carousel image in here. But aside from image, you could also add here a text, and to do that, kindly go back to editor section in here by clicking back to editor button on the top right corner. And from here, just choose on the left side panel, add elements again. But at this point, just click this text, and you can simply choose what kind of text do you want. We have here add heading 1, heading 2, but I'm going to choose this add heading 2. So you can simply choose here what kind of text you want to enter by clicking this edit text button right here. So as you can see, I just customized this into workout text. So from here, you could also do the same process, which is by resizing it and by simply duplicating this text in here. And after that, can you group all of these texts into one group? Then simply choose the kind of animation loop in here, which is the cross loop. And after setting up the animation on this text, we can now proceed by clicking the preview button on the top right corner in order to see what it looks like. But before that, I'm going to duplicate this text right here and going to input it in here. And again, by clicking the preview button, it will show us what it looks like. So now it will show you that it is now moving and looks like a never ending carousel or infinite logo in here. And now to save the changes, just click the publish button on the top right corner to start publishing it in your website. So overall, that is just basically how you can create infinite logo carousel in Wixi Studio. Thank you.